Today we're going to be playing 3,000 points of Warhammer Fantasy 8th Edition, Chaos Warriors vs. Chaos Dwarves. For our Chaos Dwarves, we're using the classic big hat models. We have leading the army, we have a Sorcerer Prophet, we have an Infernal Castellan as our BSB. For core, we have a unit of 30 Infernal Guard with great weapons, a unit of 15 Infernal Guard with Fire Glaives, another unit of 15 Infernal Guard with Fire Glaives, a unit of 24 Hobgoblin Archers. Uh, special, we have a unit of 8 Bull Centaurs, uh, also, we have a uh, Death Rocket. For Rare, we have a unit of Hobgoblin Wolf Riders and two Dreadquake Mortars, each of them with uh, Slave Ogres. And then also from the Storm of Magic, we are taking a Lamasul on its own. Uh, for Spells, the Lamasul is using Lore of Shadow and got Miasma and Pit of Shades. The Sorcerer Prophet for Spells got Dark Subjugation, Curse of Hashut, and the Flames of Asgarah, and the Breath of Hatred. So that's the Chaos Dwarves. 3,000 points. Okay, take us through what do we have for 3,000 points of Chaos Warriors. Got two units of um, uh, Chaos Warriors, a unit of Corn Warriors, some Chaos Knights, a giant. Two spawns, some skull crushers, demon prints, a um, uh, exalted hero of corn, two exalted heroes, one, one of which is the battle standard, a chaos sorcerer lord, and a demon prince. All right, what spells does the chaos sorcerer lord have? Fireball, piercing bolts of burning, flames of ruin, and fulminating flame cage. And the demon prince? Demon darkness, Karis of land pit. And Purple Son of Xerxes. Xerxes. Mm -hmm. Xerxes. Purple Son of Xerxes. Okay, so that's the Chaos Warriors Army. Here's our table getting ready for a battle line scenario. We're going to get set up and we'll be back in a minute. We are all set up. Looks like the left flank is a little heavy for both sides. This poor town is about to be destroyed between the Chaos Dwarves and the Chaos Warriors. But we'll see who comes out on top. Okay, end of turn one, this is what we're looking at. The Chaos Dwarves won the um, roll to see who goes first. Uh, Chaos Dwarf magic phase was a little bit of a bust, but shooting was pretty dead on. Uh, hit that unit of Chaos Warriors, killing nine with a direct hit from a seven. Dreadquake. Seven? Yeah. Okay, killing seven with a direct hit from a Dreadquake Mortar, and that little flame means that they're quaked. Uh... The Skull Crushers, they also got a direct hit from a Dreadquake Mortar. One was killed outright and a wound was put on the other. Over on this side, the Hobgoblin Wolf Riders tried to sneak around the flank, but they got hit by the spawn and ran down. Uh, in the Chaos Warrior turn, uh, they just advanced up and the Chaos Warriors tried to Got a um, irresistible force on a level three fireball, but they wound up getting a calamitous detonation and killing another four out of that unit there that has the sorcerer in it. Um, apart from that, uh, not much else happened. Everybody's just kind of moving up, getting in charge range. We'll see what happens on turn two. All right, end of turn two. Uh, still looking like a pretty tight game. The uh, 
Chaos Dwarf Magic was still a bust. Um, apparently we can't get more than four power dice. But our uh, shooting is still dead on. We got a direct hit on these guys and they were quaked. Uh, killing nine of them. Uh, over here in combat, the bull centaurs tried to blow through the giant. They did five wounds to him on the Chaos Dwarf turn, but the giant um, held, and then the Skull Crushers came in. Uh, together, the giant and the Skull Crushers did eight wounds to the uh, bull centaurs, uh, but the bull centaurs held on the Chaos turn, and they uh, killed off another Skull Crusher. So that's kind of a pretty close combat right there. Over here, in the middle, the Demon Prince tried to send off a Purple Sun into these Chaos Dwarves, but um, we managed to stop it on double sixes. The Lamisul tried to cast a Pit of Shade on those Warriors, but um, he he ended up miscasting, and ca and it scattered onto the Knights who all passed, and then the Lamisul's uh, miscast, he forgot that spell, and then the Magic Phase was over. Uh... And then not much else happened over here on the Chaos turn. Oh, the Knights tried to charge the Fireglaive um, Infernal Guard, but they failed. And nobody died from the stand and shoot. So that's all there is to turn two. Um, still not too bad. Uh, the Chaos Dwarf uh, shooting is tearing up the big blocks of warriors. But the, the magic, nothing can really happen, is really happening in magic. Anything you want to add? Nope, I'm good here. All right, on to turn three. End of turn three, and things are looking a little bit more in the Chaos Dwarves' favor. Uh, let's see, over here, the Skull Crusher champion did kill the... Um, uh, Bull Centaur Champion in a challenge, and he got a 6-up ward save from the Eye of the Gods. But the uh, uh, Centaurs killed the Giant, so that's kind of a drawn combat. Over here, these uh, Corn Warriors uh, keep taking a pounding from uh, the Fire Glaives. The Chaos Dwarf Artillery was a little off this turn, but we did get a direct hit on that unit with the Flames of Asgara in the Magic Phase. So that killed four or five of them. Uh, the Demon Prince did get off um, Purple Sun this turn, but we managed to dispel it exactly by rolling 21. So that saved us. And over here, thanks to a well-placed Miasma from the Lamisul onto the Knights, these Knights failed another charge um, against the Fireglaives on this flank, and the Fireglaives killed one with a stand and shoot. So that's where we're at, at the end of turn three. Looks like they're running low on Chaos Warriors. On to turn four. Okay, at the end of turn four, we may have spoke too soon last turn about this going the Chaos Dwarves way. It seemed to be getting a little bit even now. Um, on the Chaos Dwarf turn, the Bull Centaurs over there uh, broke and ran down the last of the Skull Crushers, but they're probably out of the game for now. Um, over here, the Fire Glaives continued to pick on the Corn Warriors killing off um, two more of them. A, uh, another uh, direct hit from a Dreadquake killed uh, the last two regular warriors in that, so that's just the battle standard and the Sorcerer Lord left. So to make up for their previous magic phases, the Demon Prince threw a Purple Sun across the Chaos Dwarf backline killing 13 of these Infernal Guard with great weapons, three of these guys with Fire Glaives, and a Dreadquake Mortar. Luckily, the Sorcerer Prophet rolled a 1 uh, for his initiative test, so he didn't get sucked into the void, but that hurt a lot. Over here, 
The knights finally made their charge, but they couldn't break uh, those warriors. So we are kind of going back and forth over there. The Lamassul tried to charge the rear of those Chaos Warriors, but they passed their terror tests. They beat him and then um, chased him off the board on the following uh, Chaos Warrior turn. So this side of the board may be shifting a little bit. So we're going to go on to turn five and see where things go. End of turn five, and in a big surprise, I thought the uh, bull centaurs were going to be out of the game, uh, being all the way over there, but they made a long bomb charge into those corn warriors, and the corn, unfortunately, the corn warriors whiffed, and the uh, bull centaurs cut them down, and then they reformed up on the sorcerer lord and the battle standard. Uh, over here, the spawn and this uh, gun crew are still in a slap fight. Uh, Chaos Dwarf magic wind ended up being a bit of a bust. And thankfully, the Demon Prince tried to send off another Purple Sun through the Chaos Dwarf lines, but we were able to stop this one. Uh, over here, those warriors are just way too far out of the game. The Chaos Knights finished off the Fireglaives, and then they finished off um, overran into the Death Shrieker rocket, killed them, and then reformed to face the Hobgoblins. So that's where we sit at the end of turn five, but we are going to call it there. The Chaos Warriors don't think they can stop the Chaos Dwarves. So I'm guessing the Chaos Dwarves are going to make them pay for their armor, because I think that's how this fight started. Some Chaos Warriors tried to get cheeky and get out of paying for their armor, so now they're going to have to cough up some gold. Anything you want to say about this game? Not too much. Well, I think the thing that mainly uh, um, went back for me were the um, Dreadquake Mortars. They were really nasty. Yeah, they, they were pretty huge. And then that also, uh, that direct hit from that Flames of Asgara spell, that, that hurt a lot too. Because that was a Strength 6 template. Um, well, what unit did the best for you? Hmm can't really say. A lot of my units are close combat, and they, a lot of them didn't even make it. But the Knights definitely um, did some nice work, and the Demon Prince's Purple Sun was nasty. Yeah, that Demon Prince, you know, he got me um, the last game with the Ogres with that Purple Sun, and, you know, he was just, um, just as nasty this time around. So we had to save all of our dice to stop that last one. Uh, for me, I think uh, definitely my unit of the match has to be the Dreadquake Mortars. I think they did more work than anything else. But then I'm also really impressed with the Bull Centaurs. They held off the Giant and um, they took some hits from the Skull Crushers, but then beat them and then came in and knocked out those Corn Warriors in the last turn. So I was pretty impressed with them. I was disappointed with the Lamassul, but I don't think I really used them all that well. Maybe um, a different lore of magic would be better for him next time. And then maybe he shouldn't pick on Chaos Warriors, even if it is trying to stab him in the back. Mm. All right, that's it. That's the end of the game. That's going to be a Chaos Dwarf victory. And thanks for watching.